Hey everybody, it's time for another monthly plan with me and I'm planning the month of December. So the last monthly in this planner, very exciting. And I have this kit from Hello Jane Prince. It's definitely my most used format for monthly kit this year. I've really enjoyed them. Uh, and I just get, it comes with three pages, but I just get uh, two of the pages because it just kind of like that works out. Um, there's a lot on the third page that I wouldn't use. So I like to, you know, to not um, have a lot of leftovers, but the two pages I do get have the top strip, the, uh, this strip, which can mark out these three days that are not in the month, uh, and some write-in boxes. And then, uh, the other top strip, date squares, icons, boxes, strips, mark out time, flags, and arrows. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, I'm gonna be bringing in some different stuff. So let's see for flags. I didn't check this beforehand, but I have a couple options. Is there anything back here? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Uh, so I do have this like lace flag, which is from a rose colored days. Um, I think it's a champagne gold and I'm going to do a little mixed metals. I'm not going to do a huge, I don't use a huge amount of foil in the monthly spread, but I am going to do a washi sidebar. So, um, I'm going to do mixed metals with gold and silver because there's like definitely gold metallic elements. Uh, but then there's also a lot of gray and silver kind of would match that. So I'm going to do silver and gold. Also, it's kind of like Christmas, you know, like the song from Rudolph the red Nose Reindeer, you know? <laughs> so, uh, champagne gold totally goes. So yeah, I think I'm going to use that flag that's left over from a rose colored days, uh, foil sampler, um, to cover up this flag here. And then let's see, then we'll do our, our, uh, top bars. We'll do, yeah, we'll do the, the, these stripes down here and then a write-in box here. Do I have a quote? I like to, if there's one that matches, I like to pull like a little quote from back here. Um, no, there's none that really match. That's rose gold. So that doesn't work. Mm, yeah. Okay. So I don't have anything there. What else could I mean? Could I do? I'm not sure what else would really make sense. Um, I mean, I could write something in, I could also use like a Christmas sticker or I'm not sure. I mean, I definitely I have like my, I have my Christmas emojis out here, so I could certainly pull in one of my Christmas emojis, one of my lovely, you know, maybe like an elf and just write like a Merry Christmas or something like that. I like that idea. I'm going to do that. So that's from Coffee Monsters Co., of course. And then we're going to do the washi sidebar. Yes. Yes. So, okay. Wait, actually, first thing, do I have enough strips? These are each one day. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm definitely away for more than six days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> No, that's not right. That is right. Oh my gosh, we're away for so many days. Um, okay, so we need something else besides these strips then. They're not going to work for marking out our holiday. So um, I have a couple five millimeters here to choose from, so I think that's fine. I'll just pick one of those. Or I could get a different one out here. Actually, maybe I'll use one that I don't use in the sidebar. So I will pull out this one. Or I can... Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So anyways, um... Yes, so the sidebar. Uh, mixed metals, as I mentioned. So I pulled in a few things. My usual formula is two 15 millimeters, one 10 millimeter, and two five millimeters. So for the 15 millimeters, I pulled in one non-foiled one, and it's just the perfect time of year to use it. Um, Cause it's not one I get to use a lot. It's a sample that I, I got it from once more with love. Where's the end of it? Why can I not find the end? Oh, here it is. It's because it's at an angle. <laughs> there we go. Um, and it's this lumberjack washi, but the washi itself is from Fox and Cactus. Um, and then for the other 50 millimeter, I have my pink with white polka dots with silver bows from Simply Gilded. And then for my 10 millimeter, I have this one. I don't know what shop this is from. It might be Simply Gilded as well, but this free, uh, this card of, not free, this card of samples um, is from an Etsy shop. I think it's called Busy Bee or something like that. I'll link it below. Um, and they sell sample cards of different Simply Gilded washies. And um, for every like card, you get a little freebie at the top of like a little 10 millimeter or five millimeter one. Um, so yeah, again, not sure what shops is from, but it's got like this triangle print with hearts and that's bringing in a little gold. And then for our five millimeter, I'm going to bring in more red with the, um, this, uh, sample of this, um, 
red with gold hearts five millimeter and then the white with silver confetti five millimeter again all simply gilded and uh yeah i'm gonna just kind of make a little pattern of that and i'll do all of that and then i'll be back Okay, cool. So this looks great. I love the mixed metal sidebar and it's like feels so festive with the plaid lumberjacks there. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so I kept the like January at a glance at the bottom there and in the funniest little mistake um, that literally the world's tiniest piece of confetti washi that's just in that corner. I used the wrong one because I had the gold one out here and I used the gold instead of the silver, which is funny. Literally no one will notice that, but except me. Um, yeah, cool. So I do want to mark out the days that we are in America for Christmas and let's see where did I put here we go first step of that is whiting out all the many holidays that appear in that space of time and I'm kind I mean I kind of have a wild idea I don't know if I'll do it I'm thinking about it which is because I have the confetti for the silver and the gold is like if we in what if we embrace mixed metal because it's white background so I think I can get away with it. What if we embrace mixed metal, and we do like every other day, in like silver gold silver gold. I'm gonna do it. Why not? I well, let's have some fun. Okay, that is, I think that's so fun. I love the mixed metals. That's so cool. Yeah, so that confetti is marking out the time that we are uh, away. And yeah, I think, I think we're ready to go do it right now. Do I want to put in, try and put in some random boxes preemptively? Um, I could, I definitely could do. I didn't, I, I, because of the confetti washi, I didn't put any for like the big holiday days. So, I don't know. Let's see. What other days could be big dates? Um, the 19th and the 17th, I have like parties on these days. Um, and they're also like, um, they're weekdays. So I think it's like pretty safe that that would be the main event of the day. Let me get those. Let's see, so it's the 17th and the 19th, yeah. Get those date numbers in. A better idea okay and then what else could I do oh the eighth that's like a big thing yeah eighth is a big event situation and then is there anything else besides like the Christmas stuff I mean, the 12th? No, that's right on top of the 19th, though. It's not that big of a thing. The 15th? That's right under there. The 16th? That's right next to there. <laughs> I mean, I do have a lot going on this this month. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm sure a Saturday, something will come up on one of these Saturdays. Just hasn't yet. I don't think... I, if I had to guess at one, I think we were making plans for the 14th, and that's where it will look best. So even though I don't have anything yet, I think I'm going to put the right in box there because I, I like these patterns and I want to use them. So, and they tie in the kit a little bit better to use them. So cool. Okay. So those are my days that have the big right in boxes. So if I don't do an advance, then I forget by the time I've gone to the end that I haven't used any of them. Okay. So on the first, I have a bill due. So I have, I have a ton of, um, GP sticker studio bill dues that could match this. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Let me start with this one. Uh, and this is for... 
Wish it wasn't right on top of the pink, but that's okay. Uh, and this is for my Harriet Wright Design mystery subscription, mystery foil bundle subscription. And yeah, then nothing until the fourth where I have a Grays box coming. So I like to just, I just abbreviate that with a G and let's pull the package icon. Might as well do both of the Grays boxes now, actually, I think. So the other one is the 18th, is that right? Yeah, 18th. Um, oh, I'm just realizing I totally forgot to, because I'm like, why is this giant sticker still on the sheet? Um, totally forgot to put this strip down. So let's just jaunt back over here really quick. Uh, place that right okay cool then we're back to yeah we were doing the grays boxes so i just used the package and the envelope um to mark mail basically um for those two and then the next thing is the fifth is another bill due so that's my phone bill i've got another pink gp sticker studio bill due and then nothing until the 8th. So on the 8th, we're doing a big gift exchange with, um, well, not big, like just a regular size gift exchange with um, my uh, sister-in-law's family. So um, we're gonna go over to their house because we won't be in town for, um, I think this one's perfect. Yeah, so I did, I did pull in my, um, my all of my Coffee Masters Co. Um, Christmas stickers, and I think, yeah, I think this one is perfect for that so um yeah so we are gonna put it like up here so we are gonna go over their house and bring uh gifts uh, for the kids and cookies and just kind of have like a little um mini sort of early christmas with them um that was like literally the latest day that we could all do <laughs> like latest in the month like or closest to christmas day that we could all do so hence why it's so early but that's right uh then on the 9th i've got another bill due I have other ones, but they have different fonts on them. So I wonder if maybe I'll just take a flag from the kit and like this money bags for um, my credit card being due. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. And then the 10th, I have a doctor's appointment. So this one is hand physiotherapy. So... I think, yeah, I was gonna, for one of my appointments, um, pull in this appointment, uh, sticker from, this is leftover from literally last Christmas. Um, I used this sparkly red foil from Rose Colored Days, um, they're like foil sampler and I still have that appointment sticker. So I'm gonna use that for my hand physio and then, and yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna write it in there. Uh, cool. So where are we? Oh, the 11th again. So the 11th, I have um, a physio appointment, a different one. <laughs> and it's also the day that uh, the advent calendar that I got starts, which is super exciting. So what do I want to use for... I'm going to have to pull in some labels and things. Um, can I... I think this one could work. Yeah, it's got it's pink and green. So we could use this and something else. Um, we could use this, I guess. It's kind of big, but... I'm using like, um, using those, let me put the 11 right there. Uh, I'm using those right in boxes for the really big stuff. So it's okay to use the, I think the bigger labels for medium big stuff. Um, and then can I fit this as well? Yeah, that's okay. It's a little overlap with the date number, but that's fine. Um, yeah, cool. So for starting the advent calendar, I could do one of these. Um, the baking doesn't really make sense. I could also do a present. I think maybe a present thing, yeah. Like um, like this, yeah, this little gift. We're gonna use this for starting uh, the advent calendar. And then for my um, physio appointment, let's see, I mean, I could do lots of stuff. Could do, I mean, I also have this like gold, just like bring in a little more foil. I do have this gold, um, kettlebell that's from the back of the of this planner um from the Aaron Condren stickers so why don't I use that let's bring in a little more foil make it fun um then on the 12th I am working on campus and having lunch with 
a friend, so I don't need to. I don't need to mark the working on campus necessarily. I don't think. Um, I think I can just just mark the the lunch because it's kind of inferred that if I'm having lunch with a coworker, it means I'm going onto campus. And I do have these. I think this. I think I can get away with using this pink. Um, these half boxes, which are from Harry Wright Designs. Oh, they're usually quite hard to get off the sheet, but that one came off quite nicely. Yeah, I think I can use that for lunch with my coworker. And for that, I'm going to take the like place setting um, icon from the kit. And then where are we? 13th. I have a haircut. So this is like, I feel this is like a pink, but I think I think this is actually closer to the red. This pink, this like pink color. This is a quarter box from the Hummingbird Planner. I'm gonna pull that in here. Um, and I'm gonna pull in the blow dryer from the kit. And then on the 14th, oh, the 14th was just, I was just marking that in anticipation of having something on that Saturday. I'm sure I will. But on the 15th, I'm going to Panto, which I'm so excited. I've never been to a Panto. And well, um, I have a sticker for this and I, I hadn't really decided yet if I was going to use it on, um, in the weekly or the monthly or the memory planner. I think, I think not the weekly cause I'll need to put more details like the time. I mean, I could put it in a box like this, but I could also put it, oh, I could, oh, this is what I could do. I could make a little washi stack here and use this sticker. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Um, let me start from the bottom though so that my stack matches the pattern. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'm going to use it here, um, uh, because I just want to, um, <laughs> yeah, I think I might want to put like, uh, like my, my friend is the one who, um, initiated the idea and booked it. So I don't really know that much about it. Um, but yeah, and like I said, in the weekly spread, I'm probably going to want to put more details such as the time and in the memory planner, I might put more details like the name of it. Um, I think that's actually enough. Yeah. So I think the monthly spread is the perfect time to use that sticker, which I didn't even say is from the Hummingbird Planner. I have this winter bucket list that I've had since last year. Um, just kind of like to keep it out in the winter to see if anything's applicable. And that was on there. So it's perfect. Um, I also have the Christmas bucket list, which is a different sheet. So it's kind of weird that it wasn't on the Christmas one, but rather on the winter one, but it still works. Um, yeah, cool. And then on the 16th, I am going to Leeds for a workshop. So I could certainly, I could certainly use one of these boxes. That looks kind of crowded though. Um, maybe, maybe another one of these half boxes from the Harry Wright design sheet because it's rounded. Yeah. The rounded corners and the fact that it's meant for weekly spread. So it has a little white space on the edges makes it look less crowded. And I think because it's like, you know, work related that, uh, this pencil will work for that. And then the 17th is, um, my friends is having like a little get together. So I'm going to put balloons for that. Uh, and then on the 18th, oh no, no, sorry, the 19th, um, yeah, the 18th, I've already got the grays there. The 19th is another friend's, uh, birthday party slash gen other things party. Um, she's moving away. So it's kind of like both of those. Uh, and it's also her actual birthday. So, um, yeah, we want to use the, the present, use the present, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll use the we we'll use the present. So that's for my friend Millie's um, birthday and party. And then on the twentieth, I have another doctor's appointment. So I'll have to mark that in another way. There's no doctors icons here, are there? No, no doctors. Okay. What do I want to do for that? I think I might take. Oh no, it's right under the one I just used. So I won't take that. Take something else. I mean, I can take one of these flags certainly for the appointment. And then, um, I mean, it's, it's an appointment. So even though it's not doctor specific, I think I'll just take the alarm clock and then it's also payday. So we get paid early this month because of the holidays. Um, and I have this leftover from a Murdoch talks, um, foil pack, the, their red foil. And I thought that it would match with the festive spread, even though it's like a bit of a, a much brighter red. And this is more of like, like a pinky purpley red. 
I think it still works. So I kind of want to put it on, just to like anchor it a little bit, I kind of want to put it on like a piece of like one of these strips, like use this as like a little piece of washi, um, little washi background. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's, yeah. It has red, but I think you can still read it. Yeah, cool. So that's, uh, yeah, painting. And then um, the 21st, I don't have anything, but I'm gonna white out the winter begins because I don't need it. Yeah, and then we're into our, into our trip. So let's see, the 22nd is also a friend's birthday. So I'm gonna take, okay, I'm gonna take a little bow and arrow up here because it's my friend Matt. So I can, I can write Matt pretty small. There is a lot of black on this flag but I'm gonna hopefully just, hopefully I'll be able to read it. <laughs> um, Cause I just, I need to mark it kind of small so that I can fit my flight. So I think this is where I can definitely take one of those quarter boxes again. And uh, from the Holy Group Planner. And uh, mark that we fly to Austin via Denver. Um, and that's the whole day because we have quite a long, it's, it's a long flight, but you're going back in time, but then we have quite a long layover in Denver. So, um, that's that flight. And then the 23rd is another friend's birthday. So I kind of want to do the same thing. They're right next to each other. So I think I'll do the same thing again, a four letter name, Jimmy. Hopefully you can read it with that black plaid. I really hope you can, you will be able to, um, but we don't have any specific plans for that day. That's when the rest of my family is arriving. So we arrive super, super late on Sunday, basically early Monday morning. Um, we're going to crash at my sister's house who lives there. Uh, and then the rest of the family coming from out of town is coming on this day. So it might just be a matter of people are coming at different times and we have to go get them from the airport and stuff. Or we might plan some, some, to do something. I don't know. 24th is Christmas Eve. That's all I have. Um, I think I'm just going to mark... For Christmas Eve and Christmas on the monthly scale, um, I think it's just, I'm just going to mark them. I'm going to put them in little twin boxes here, ne right next to each other. I think, yeah, what would be cute? Um, I kind of like, I like the idea of this sticker because Chris, we like, um, Christmas Eve is when we have the big dinner. So, um, Christmas Eve it is spent all day cooking. Um, so this one from the baking, even though it's from the baking mode, his baking will also be involved. And um, yeah, would like basically spend the whole day cooking. So that's uh, fitting. And then for Christmas day, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm like, ooh, I'm, am I using these too fast? But that's okay. I think, um, I think Santa, I think I'm gonna use Santa for Christmas day. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to write Christmas Eve and Christmas day because getting into the minutia of all the different things we do on each day is not for the monthly spread. That's for the weekly spread. <laughs> so great. Um, then the 26th is boxing day, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to mark that in here. It's not really relevant. Um, because we might have some other plans that day. So I would want it room to put them in there. And then the 27th is a friend's birthday as well. So yeah, I could use this. It's kind of a brighter red. Let, let's see if it clashes. Uh, I don't know. It kind of clashes a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to use it, though. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the birthday there. I'm going to take the cake icon from the kit. Um, and that's the, this is leftover from a Dash of Sun Designs monthly kit, this birthday one. Um, but I want to mark it small because, again, like... We're on holiday essentially, so we'll probably make a plan that day that I can put in once we have a better idea of, of our itinerary for the trip. Uh, and then literally I don't have anything else to mark until New Year's Eve, which is the 31st. So, and it's also the day we fly back. So I think I'll take the same quarter box to, so that the flights match. Um, so we fly out, we fly out kind of midday. So it's pretty much the main thing we're doing that day. We don't arrive back until New Year's Day. So. Uh, it made the flights super cheap because a lot of people probably don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do another plane from the kit. Um, and then I'll, I can safely take up the rest of the space because, again, like the flight is that's what we're doing that day um, with the with an arrow. And um, yeah, what, what would work for anything I have here? I mean, an asterisk. I don't know. Is an asterisk too casual? I think because it's reminding me of like a twinkle, like a sparkle or like a ball drop thing. I'm going to put an asterisk, whatever. Um, cool. So 
yeah, that is everything for the month of December. It's a pretty busy month, I think. Yeah, I would say, I would say so it's a pretty busy month. Um, yeah, so we've got this, like, really fun, like, mixed metals action going on, um, and festive colors, and I'm really excited about it. So, I, uh, to, oh, to show you, oh my goodness, I'm jumping five steps ahead. Okay, first thing I'm supposed to do is put down the date dots and speed through that, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my date dots in there. So this is actually the finished spread. And then the thing that I forgot to do the last time I filmed a plan with me because I had not done it in so long was to show you what I have left on the sheets. So I used up the whole of sheet one. And on sheet two, I've just got a couple more um, of these strips and mini icons to pull in as the month goes on. But they're also like light pink, which is pretty versatile of a color. Um, so not terrible things to have left over, but yeah. Um, do one one last wiggle of the gold and silver mixed metals foil and thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you did and please 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 subscribe it would mean the world to me thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye